Have you ever asked how our universe began? Or what events led to what we see today? Haven't you been curious on how it's going to end? Or what will happen in the future? Today, we are going to reveal the hidden secrets, traveling in time from past to future showing you what happened and what will happen to our universe. Thirteen point seven billion years ago, our universe began with one enormous explosion. Within a fraction of a second, everything suddenly expanded, from a size smaller than an atom to bigger than a galaxy. What we call now the Big Bang has created all the energy that have ever existed. This was the singular start of everything, the beginning of our universe, space, and the initial start of time itself. Three hundred and eighty thousand years after the Big Bang. The birth of hydrogen took place, and under gravity's magic, the first clouds of gases have begun to form. 13.4 billion years ago. Inside of forming galaxies and under the influence of gravity, clouds of gases and dust have been continuously squeezed, causing heat and pressure to increase. These conditions of high temperature and pressure caused hydrogen atoms to combine with each other, and emitting bursts of energy, leading to the birth of first stars, the first shining lantern in this dark space. Few million years after their creation, some of those stars started blowing up, creating massive supernovas. These supernovas provided the necessary elements for the creation of new stars and even planets. 4.6 billion years ago The necessary elements are gathered and a new star began to form within the Milky Way. This star is our Sun. 4.5 billion years ago through time, this newborn star gets under a lot of pressure and temperature, heating up the dust into drops of melted rock, which grow into the first asteroids and planets. The third planet from the Sun is our home, the Earth. At the same era, and while the Earth was still burning from the incredible sunrise, an object roughly the size of Mars collided with Earth, and the Moon was born from the aftermath of that collision. 3.8 billion years ago 700 million years after the creation of Earth, the history of life on it began, leading to the whole colonization we know today. 2.4 billion years ago A disaster struck and the Earth froze. Ice that spread from the poles covered the planet in a thick layer, making it a snowball Earth. This has been known as the greatest ice age in the history of the planet. 200,000 and the most dominant one. Now that we spoke about the past, let's talk about how our universe will end. Since the universe had a beginning, it will come into an end someday, and figuring out how it's going to end is the biggest challenge. But before talking about the very far future, let's start with the near one. SpaceX will launch the first ever manned mission to Mars in 2024 and it will reach its destination in 2025, so if we are lucky enough, we will be able to witness the first ever manned landing on Mars. And in 2030, NASA will launch their first manned mission to Mars, so if SpaceX fail, NASA will be the one entering history. 100,000 years from now The projection of the universe on Earth will change due to its movement through the Milky Way, and in that era, terraforming Mars will be finished and the planet now is a habitable place similar to Earth. One million years from now. The nearby red star Betelgeuse and the brightest one in our night sky will run out of fuel and collapse under its own mass creating a spectacular supernova visible from Earth even during daytime. One hundred million years from now. The rings around the planet Saturn will no longer exist due to a force pulling them away into space. 240 million years from now. 
the Earth will have finally completed one full orbit around the galactic center. It means one full orbit around the supermassive black hole of our galaxy, from its current position. 600 million years from now. The Moon will have moved far enough away from Earth and as a result total solar eclipses will no longer be seen. In addition, the C4 photosynthesis will no longer be possible, due to the Sun's increase in luminosity. And as a result, all complex life on Earth will cease to exist. 2 billion years from now. Earth's core will freeze, and that will cause the planet to lose its magnetic shield, created by the heat of its core, leaving it exposed to the Sun. 3.8 billion years from now. Andromeda, the nearest galaxy, will reach the Milky Way and the two will combine creating a new massive galaxy under the name of Milky Dromeda. 7 billion years from now The Sun will reach the point of no return, its radius increasing rapidly hitting its maximum, and as a consequence, the planets and their systems will be destroyed and swallowed by the awakened giant. 1 trillion to 1 Google years from now It's the beginning of the end. The dominance of dark energy is leading the universe to expand so fast, making all distances infinite. And by that time, almost all existing galaxy has come into an end, and all superclusters of galaxies are no longer existing, even the remaining dwarfs are going into oblivion. After 100 trillion years, the last stars burn out, and the only remaining things in this dark universe are the almighty black holes, which will eventually fade out. Nothingness is all that remains. This will be the end of the journey. After traveling all this distance in space and time, now we arrive at the last station of our journey, where we answered your questions and enlightened your curiosity about some of the universe's mysteries.